Greetings everyone. This should have been a live video, but uh, my energy is so low that um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to give off the right vibrations, you know, just to interact with you guys. Just um, here and wishing I could just go somewhere for a little while. You know, like a, a retreat. Yeah, I, I could use that. My energy is very low. And I think... I need to be surrounded by individuals that I know love me. Now, I have love in my household, but love is never too much, right? There's some things that I wish I could share with you. But, I don't know about you, but nowadays I feel endangered as a woman. As a black woman, I feel like I'm an endangered species. Not just having to worry about, you know, going through things with my own people, my own men um, in our society. But having to deal with, you can't trust anybody. You can't trust anyone. And what is very scary for me is that I always give people the benefit of the doubt. I always want to see the best in people, in human beings. But I think we should stop doing that. I don't think we should go around and just judge everybody and expect the worst from everyone. But I don't think we should be so open and expect or tell ourselves that things are going to be different when for hundreds and hundreds of years, a particular story remains the same. What do you do? How do you just live your life as a decent human being? Live your life in such a way that you can live at peace with mankind, but be separate from them. I don't know. That probably doesn't make any sense, does it? I've been seeing some disturbing videos recently. And my question is, have things gotten worse? Or is just, you know, these information uh, make it to the internet, you know, in rapid speed? Is there a new climate that embraces or endorses racism more than ever, or it's always the same? What do you think? Because the things that I'm seeing now, people are getting more and more blatant. Now, in terms of the president in the United States of America, he has opened the door to a new kind of racism. One that seems to have the approval of, you know, a leader. Are black people supposed to feel more afraid now than ever? Are we supposed to feel more afraid? Are we are we kidding ourselves to think that, you know, there's social justice, so uh, things are better now? Because it doesn't seem that way. It's more scarier than it was 10 years ago or five years ago. What gets to me, and please understand, I'm not defending any person who is accused of violating another person, you know. You know what kind of violation I'm talking about. It's the most common kind now where not too long ago you were hearing about all these men that have been found guilty of doing it. But now that that one particular man is going to jail or is in prison or whatever, all of a sudden you're not hearing anything more about it. Um... I think if I was a black man, I'd be terrified. 
to live in this world, in this society, where a woman can just come and say, you did this to, thing to her, even if you lived your life in such a way to be a man of integrity and great moral standard, if a person's words against yours has such a weight where you don't need DNA, you don't need any kind of proof, any sample to show that you you violated someone, someone's word alone. It is so scary. What is even more scarier though is to see, for example, I don't know if you saw that video going around with the taxi operator and uh, I think it was a Lyft driver who was being harassed by three guys who demanded music and because he either didn't want to play it or didn't have it, uh, the police was called up. Um, and what I listened to these guys saying on the phone, uh, this white guy saying about the black guy, how he was feeling threatened. It's so scary because I see that all the time. This fellow was saying he was feeling threatened by a man who didn't even say anything. That taxi operator, uh, uh, kudos to him. He remains so patient so calm you know that really is a true strength of a man real powerful person is able to withstand all that kind of abuse and remained so kingly so respectful such a respectable man i really admire him and then i see another one with a female uh trailing a black guy to his apartment door harassing him Claiming that he doesn't live in the apartment building and more and she wanted to find out why he was there Now I'm sure people might say she has mental health issues, but why are these individuals always allowed? Uh, the excuse of mental illness when they carry on with these things The climate um, Is getting more and more hostile and as a black woman, what am I supposed to say to myself? Um, what am I supposed to think? Am I supposed to just dive into this world of fantasy? Is racism more pronounced these days? Are individuals getting the message that they can just do as they like they can harass black people one of the things that if I was a white person and I was going to um, advocate for my people one of the things that I would have to put out there is to confirm that you know because more and more we see these videos we are sure seeing women very devious women now are they putting this thing out there because they want to hear someone like myself give my opinion about what I'm seeing? Are these stunts just to get us to talk, to, to, to label us or to mark us or to get us in trouble? What is going on? What should I conclude about the individuals who are involved in harassing black people in these ways? It is so scary. And what's even, even more scarier is that the, the 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 blatant double standard is no longer being hidden or pushed aside to to have one rule for one and another rule for someone else so plain so blatant so obvious violations daily harassment of african people daily double standard being measured out uh, in court in terms of the judicial system Plain and straightforward. Are we supposed to be in denial or is this supposed to help us to know ourselves? Is it supposed to drive a wedge between mankind or is it uh, designed for us to be reminded of the history of past? Hmm? What I am noticing though, there's some individuals in this world, they're so lie. They will look you straight in the face, bold face, and tell a lie on you, and you have no means of escape, no way to escape. I warn every young black man, young black boy, to be very careful. Very careful about some of your encounters, or all encounter really. 
and not just to tell you not to trust anybody but to understand that every encounter you have especially with females might turn out to be one that lead to your destruction and so you have to be super vigilant super super cautious because an handshake can become an accusation down the road that destroys your life. The hostility and the attitude of hate in this time is being endorsed. People's silence um, is endorsing these behaviors. And I keep saying to myself, wow, it must be nice to be a white person, to be able to live in this world where you do all kinds of stuff and there's always opportunity for you to escape. It must be nice. I'm not saying that I want to be white. I'm just saying, wow. So the, the slavery thing and the, the, the you know physical bondage is absent, but... In my opinion, the more things change, the more they remain the same. I have met people that come across as really nice and caring and warm. And right before my eyes, they transform. Almost like creature-like. I had an experience recently where someone told a bold face, lie involved in my name and uh, I find it very scary but I'm not scared to make me run away and cry but scare me back to reality to say I wish I had the opportunity To go to Africa and spend some time a good time not in the city and the, the touristy parts of Africa but somewhere where there's lots of land green vegetation peace <coughs> sorry just peace just to connect back with the ancestors Stay best people.